the ball contacting a paddle creates deformation in the rubber and then in the sponge. Their consecutive deformation is caused by absorption of kinetic energy during the impact. Once the deformation reaches maximum, stored energy is released by return to their normal shape. Whole process is completed in just few milliseconds. This catapult effect sends the ball back very fast. Control of the ball can be highly increased just by selection of the thinner rubber. During the impact, spin is created by the force that is not directed at center of gravity of the ball. Vertical impact force of inclined paddle moves the ball in the forward and downward direction. Tangential friction force spins it upward. Resulting trajectory is governed by combination of these forces. Proper mental adjustment of these forces and point of impact, before shot execution, creates different arcs. This is very important factor for the consistency of attack. Static friction in the tangential direction of the swing creates asymmetrical deformation of the rubber. This difference creates force directed off the center of gravity of the ball and thus creates the spin. In principle, spin is always created along single axis. It is important to visualize this axis. Contacting the ball at its fairest point perpendicular to this axis is the most dangerous. Effect of the spin is gradually decreasing towards the poles of the spinning ball. Spin and bounce angle, when a topspin ball lands on the table, the spin around the horizontal axis exerts a backwards horizontal force on the table. The reaction force against the friction, gets the ball forward acceleration. Topspin ball demonstrates great momentum when it bounces, and its angle of reflection is wider than that of the incidence, by contrast, a backspin ball landing on the table gets backward acceleration from the spin demonstrating weak momentum when bouncing and its angle of reflection is narrower than that of the incidence. The air circulation above a topspin ball acts in the opposite direction to the air resistance, but the air circulation below it acts in the same direction as the air resistance. As a result the air over the top is slower than that below. According to Bernoulli's principle a downward pressure drag is thus produced, which bends the ball trajectory downwards. By contrast a backspin ball rises, while a sidespin ball turns to the left or to the right, 